Juha Jarvinen doesn't just play these shaman drums, he makes them. How much would you charge for this one, say, then? Uh, I think uh, three, four hundred. Not to Finland, uh, but no, no, Finnish people, they don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only business he's got going. There's filmmaking and an artist's version of Airbnb. All this while helping bring up six kids. Sort of. All three kids sleep in this, these bunks? Uh, yeah, they are sleeping there, but uh, sometimes, uh, quite often, they are sleeping on the floor. <laughs> or on the tr uh, trampoline. And, They're uh, sleeping on the trampoline? Uh, yes. I'm a bit anarchist and... Uh, and, and uh, are you a bit of an anarchist? Uh, yeah. Are you so, an anarchist dad? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Had you swung by last year, things wouldn't have been half so jolly. Back then, jobless Juha was on dole money, which comes with such tight restrictions, he wasn't able to pursue any of his business ideas. But since January, he's been getting $660 a month. No strings attached. What has a basic income made possible for you then? It's make a possibility to uh, create my own business. Before I needed to focus uh, for what employment office wants and now I can focus what I want to do. So I'm now like I am uh, taking control of my life. Before it was employment office and government. You get paid about $600 a month. What does that enable you to do? Is that a lot of money for you? In Finland, uh, with, uh, 560 euros, it's very little money. You need to be a magician to, uh, to survive with that money. So it, uh, it doesn't uh, make people just uh, chill out or uh, stay in their couches. His apparently idyllic lifestyle forms part of one of the biggest economic experiments of our time. Universal basic income has rocketed in popularity since the banking crash. Bernie Sanders backs it, so does tech titan Elon Musk. Now Finland is hosting the first big trial in Europe. This isn't the purest form of UBI, which would be handed out to everyone, even billionaires. Instead, it focuses only on the unemployed. Still, there's a big jump between pilot and policy, and ministers know it. What's the politics of actually giving people who are unemployed money just to sit at home? I think it's not about just to stay at home because I personally believe that um, in, in Finland citizens really want to work. Just as UBI freed Juha from being trapped on welfare, it could do the same for many others around the world. In labour markets and benefit system, is the long-term unemployed person takes a short-term job uh, he or she might lose some benefits and uh, you get more money rather stay at home than, than going to work. But of course I understand the criticism because it's um, very open-handed because you give the money and then you don't uh, tax them or then you don't ask what are you doing with the money. The link between work and wages is at the heart of capitalism. Breaking it is opposed by some very powerful groups. In Finland, that includes the finance ministry and the country's largest trade union. The problem is uh, how to fund the, the benefits. Uh, benefits have to be funded by taxation and uh, that's paid by, the, paid by the workers. If you pay everyone enough to live upon, that means that people don't have to work, which means that many people would quite rationally choose to work less. You're saying it's unaffordable. How unaffordable is it? What kind of impact would it have on the economy? Well, the current model being tested, if it were implemented on a national scale would increase the budget deficit by 5% of GDP. A more realistic scheme would, uh, would involve a much higher rate of taxation to fund, fund the benefits, and a high rate of taxation means lower incentives to work. What happens if we just give everyone money for nothing? Where's, where's all the tax going to come from to pay for it? There must be a lot of uh, like creative people and they would uh, create something new. After 10 years, we have a lot of uh, new Facebooks, YouTubes, uh, uh, Uber taxis. So it's uh, like coded, I think, to our DNA that it's uh, all the time developing. So that makes people anyway active. <laughs>